Tiffany Haddish has showed her ass once again. At New York Fashion Week, she had crashed a runway trying to impress Paris Hilton and her clan she had with her. I'm pretty sure it was her mama and her sister. I don't know. But look at this mess. This lady is in her 40s and was peer pressured to crash a runway. This is how you know something is not right. Like mentally, something is not right. And apparently I'm not the only one that think this. Check these videos out. I don't know, maybe I'm a softie, but I can't help but to feel bad for Tiffany Haddish sometimes. Because yeah, she's a comedian, but I don't think she understand that there's a time and a place for everything. And with the years that Tiffany has been in the industry, the fact that she hasn't got the hint yet, I don't know. Maybe she's a little slow. Oh, is that rude? I think I'm being rude. But it's like, you know, like, you should know when it's like, okay, I'm gonna be cute today. I'm gonna sleep pretty. I'm not gonna do the most. And then there's a time where you're like, I'm gonna be funny. I'm gonna be Tiffany Haddish, the comedian. Like, you should be able to turn it on and off. And I don't know, I feel like Tiffany, she's just like, pfft, on a hundred all the time. Just looking crazy sometimes. And I don't know, I just can't help but like, I feel bad. So, Cause I don't think she gets it. She's not very demure. She's not cutesy or mindful. She's just all over the place. And the thing is, it's like, where's her team? Does she even have a team? I just can't help but to feel bad. Like, it's just, sister, get it together. Have some decorum. You know? So, honey, you know what it's giving? It's giving my reputation is already trash. I can barely get booked anymore. I have these DUIs on my record. I have these other really bad allegations on my I'm record. not funny. I annoy a large percentage of people. So why not try to do whatever I can to be seen in her because nobody really likes me anymore. That's what it's given. And it's embarrassing. It, it's just an embarrassing situation for her and just further confirmation as to why she's having to force herself to be seen in her. And it's time for you to just step back and go get therapy so that you can rediscover yourself. Because what you doing, that ain't it. You know, um, I consider myself to be an empath of some sort. You know what I'm saying? I think that I'm very good at being able to put myself in another person's shoes and understand the perspective of somebody, even if that ain't, not, you know, my initial way of thinking. Even if I would never do or say or think that way, oftentimes I'll say, you know what? Let me try to let me try to see it from that angle. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me just let me just see. Let me let me try to understand their perspective and where they're coming from. And I take pride in being able to do that for almost everyone. The person I can't do it for is Tiffany Addish. Like I can't for the life of me understand or even try to understand why Tiffany Haddish feels the need to coon out every room she's invited in. Like every room she doing some coon type shit and it's weird. Like it's hella weird. First, you was on the runway at the Met Gala, wherever that shit was, and you had fried chicken in your purse. You thought that shit was funny to pull it out and show them that you carry fried chicken in your purse. Cool. Now you at the at the fashion show and you interrupt the runway by by trying to act like you in the show and doing the do, doing the model walk because Paris Hilton and her two fucking white girl friends told your ass to do it, and you look crazy. Every single chance. Tiffany Haddish get she gonna coon some shit out. I don't, I don't know. Like, do she think she funny? Like, what? Like, what is it? That's that's a, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm not supposed to get everything. I don't. I, for me, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I don't understand why she feels the need to get into these spaces and just coon out. That shit is disgusting, bro. Well, Tiffany Haddish has shared a video of the people runway that she had crashed and yeah you could tell it was just 
The whole thing was just awkward looking and you could tell she is not gonna be invited ever again. I had no idea why people were laughing in the middle of her ending and I was like, did someone, did we do something wrong? And then everyone was like, Tiffany, she destroyed, everyone would laugh at We did the whole walk. I walked the whole thing. I almost went down the stairs. I knew I made a mistake when I put two of you together. It's I love that. You're the danger. They First of all, the hat and shoes with the Hilton. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be we such a memorable moment. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for inviting me. I hope I get invited again. Because when I got up, 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 It's like this lady don't get it. She is just so cringy. And for Marlon Wayans to tell her in her face that she do too much, you know you really do too much because he does the most. This is what I want to know. I have auditioned for so many of your movies <laughs> that your friends, your family, why do I never get cast? Here's the thing. You even made a role. Said Tiffany had his type. I auditioned for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I auditioned to play me. You wasn't right for your for the part. <laughs> I wasn't right for the no, part. No, here's what happened. Here's what happens. Like, you was always, me and my family always say you're funny. You know, as producers, you know, you, you hire people and you cast people. You were always funny, but you was just so, you was always on 10. Like, and you was just, sometimes you just be, like, inappropriate. It's like a love scene, and you want to sit on the actor's lap and fart. And it's like, no, <laughs> Tiffany, it's not for this scene. So it was just, you, mat maturation hit you it's like for me even you know I'm I, right now I feel like I'm ready for I've been preparing 30 years for what's happening to me now and it, it all happens to you at a certain time when maturity and that stardom hits you like never nothing personal we love you always thought this is honestly sad like it is so much that it feels like everybody is picking on her but I don't really think that's the case I think everybody is just tired of her like who made this woman famous but tell me how y'all feel about this video down below i am just still flabbergasted what she did but do you feel like it wasn't a big deal do you blame paris hilton and her mama and her sister i think that was or do you think tiffany haddish is just being tiffany haddish that's just how she is she's just over the top but make sure you guys like and subscribe thank you for watching Sody cakes bye Don't play with it, don't be the size. Still not understand.